Hi, my name is Evan Archella, and I'd like to show you a few tips for getting started with Outlook Live, part of Microsoft Live at EDU. Let's take a look at auto replies and email signatures. In Outlook Live, at the top right, you have a button called Options. If you will click on Options, it will take you into the Outlook Live Options area where you have a number of different tasks that you can perform. I'm going to show you two right now. First, if you'll click on Organize Email, you'll see a tab for automatic replies. Automatic replies are automatic email messages that are sent in response to a message that you receive while you're out of the classroom or away from your desk or maybe simply just don't want to be disturbed for a while and you want to let somebody know that you're going to be slow to respond to email. To turn these on, you want to select the radio button that says send automatic replies. And the nice thing here is you can actually schedule when these turn on and turn off. So you don't have to forget as you're running out the door for spring break to turn on your auto reply. You can act actually come in here while you're thinking about next week, turn it on, and then go ahead and set it to turn off when you come back to the office. To do that, just go ahead and click send replies during this time period. Choose the start time drop down. Let's say we're going to leave on Monday the 12th and we're gonna go at 9 a.m. and I'll be gone a whole week so let's do the end time for a week later and go ahead and set that for nine o'clock and in the body of the auto reply now I'll simply just type a message to let people know that I'm gonna be out of the classroom for spring break and I'll get back to them as soon as I return now this is an internal reply meaning it's gonna to go to everyone in your organization that is on your same Kentucky schools domain if you want to send an, an auto reply outside the organization, if you scroll down, you'll see send automatic reply to external senders. So parents, for example, would be a good use of an external sender. You can compose a separate message here for the external senders. It's completely different than the one that's going out internally. And you need to decide, do you want to send that reply to senders that are in your contacts or to senders that are all outside your organization. So if you choose contacts, it just goes out to your contacts list. If you choose all senders, it's going to go to everyone. So you want to use this one sparingly because it may go and send information that you're away to people that you may not have expected or that you didn't want to know all of that information. So you want to use either one of these options based on what is best for your needs. I'm going to scroll back up to the top. I've got the internal reply set up like I want it. So it's important to come down here at the bottom right and click this button that says Save. Let's go ahead and save the auto reply, and it's now turned on. I want to show you one other thing. If you go over to Settings, you'll see a tab called Mail, and on that tab is Email Signatures. An email signature is an auto signature that is included automatically when you open up a new email message in Outlook Live. You can come here, you can type that signature, and you'll notice you have a lot of rich formatting options across the top where you can actually make that signature look very nice, very professional based on your needs. At the bottom, you'll see a checkbox that says automatically include that on messages that I send. I'm going to check that box and again it's very important on the right hand side to click save. You'll notice at the top we have my mail this is the way you get out of your options area so click my mail that will take you back to your inbox I'm gonna open a new email message here just so you'll see that that auto signature was automatically added here to the body of that message now had I not checked the inbox or check the uh, the uh, checkbox for automatically including this in a message I could do it one at a time based on my discretion using the insert signature button here across the top and just insert it as needed into different messages. Let's take a look at a few resources that can help you as you're getting used to this technology. We will have other webcasts that will cover different areas of Outlook Live and I appreciate your time and look forward to having you on another screencast.